and thank you everyone for coming along and thank you Craft Victoria for hosting the machine. Um, I'd like to state Katie Jacobs um, is now currently doing her Masters in Indiana so she put the idea forward to Craft Victoria last year and uh, uh, in her absence our, um, our new ceramics arts worker Anna has um, uh, installed the show so we thank we give Katie our respects in Indiana and say thank you for the show. Yay Katie! Yay, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> um, just quickly, Arts Project Australia, if you don't know, is a studio and gallery in Northcote that supported artists with a dis um, intellectual disability since 1974. And today 140 artists take part in our studio program every week. They, um, we offer painting, drawing, ceramic and soft sculpture, printmaking, animation, digital imaging and puppetry. I'm looking at introducing photography next year, which we're excited about. And we hold an extensive exhibition program during the year in our Northcote Gallery. And if you haven't been there, please come and visit. It's terrific. As well as arranging a host of external yes. exhibition opportunities. And this one is fantastic because it brings um, three of our artists into a space that we've never, we've never exhibited in Craft Victoria before. Our approach is non-directive and our arts workers are all practising artists themselves. Now, the machine features three of our more established artists, Terry Williams, Chris O'Brien, wave at me Chris, thank you, acknowledge yourself, and Alan Constable, who is right here. Um, <laughs> um, these three artists have been attending our studio program for 13 years or more in the case of Terry and Alan, so they've really been developing and honing their craft and their skill with us. Um, I, I, I'd like to thank Craft Victoria and their staff for their assistance and help and um, now I'd like to introduce the person who's really going to open our exhibition. Stella is an internationally renowned performance artist who has visually probed and acoustically amplified his body. I just love that sentence. He's, he's made three films of the inside of his body. He's used medical instruments, prosthetics, robotics, virtual reality systems, the internet and biotechnology to explore alternate, intimate and involuntary interfaces with the body. He has performed with a third hand, a virtual arm, a stomach sculpture, an exoskeleton and a six-legged walking robot. I can't think of a better person to open the machine. Thank you, Stella. <laughs> Um, I'd like to thank uh, Arts Projects and Craft Victoria for inviting me to uh, do this opening. It's not something that I'm accustomed to, um, but uh, I was intrigued about the title of the, of the exhibition, Machine. Uh, when we think about machines, we think about, you know, instrumentality, um, metal, hard materials, uh, precision, speed, they're the sorts of qualities we think about when we think about machines. Um, machines often augment uh, the body, optically enhancing our, our, our um, sensory uh, apparatus, accelerating our bodies to speeds that enable us to get from one place to another in a reasonable amount of time, and also cognitively augment our, 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 our uh, brain capabilities. And to me, technology is, is a, a, a very destabilising um, uh, uh, mode of, of operation because with every new technology, we have new kinds of images and new kinds of information that's generated. And that generates sort of uncertainty, anxiety and ambivalence about our paradigms of the world. And it really... Um, forces us to, to, to reconsider what it is to have a body, what it means to operate in the world, what it means to interface uh, with our technologies. But technology is not an alien other. It's really what's determined um, the trajectory of, of, of human civilization. Um, Alfred Whitehead said that civilization advances by extending the number of important operations we can perform without thinking about them. Now, actually, that's a good definition of art. Um, you know, making things, um, the, a process of production 
that doesn't necessarily require um, an articulation um, of, of thought, uh, but becomes very, very important in our experience of the world and our, our, our continuing humanity. Um, Arthur C. Clarke said that the greatest damage in modern technology isn't that machines will begin to think like people, but rather that people might well begin to think like machines. <laughs> and I feel that the three artists who are exhibiting here today, Alan Constable, Terry Williams and, and, and Chris O'Brien, um, interrogate the machine in very personal and peculiar ways. And they interrogate, interrogate the materiality and the imagined instrumentality of the machine as if by, by examining and working the surface of these uh, machines, these, op uh, these uh, objects that represent these machines, that somehow you expose the, the, the code that's inscripted where the, 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 the operation of the machine is exposed. Uh, Heidegger thought of technology as a means of exposing, as a means of revealing. So technology is a process of, of uh, and, and, and of human relationship to the world. Um, so cameras, cars and computers, some of which are represented here tonight, optically augment, accelerate and cognitively extend our bodies and our, our operation. And New technologies alter the ratio between our senses. That's a, a comment by Marshall McLuhan. And that for McLuhan, technology um, is uh, about the medium being the message. And in, in, from an artistic viewpoint, this is precisely what all of these works are about too. Where the medium of clay, the medium of of soft materials, the medium of, of wood, um, these express a certain relationship uh, with our technology that is not about uh, the operation of the machine, is not about the normal characteristics uh, of, of, of machine uh, 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 capabilities, but rather in our relationship with them. So, in a sense, uh, these objects anthropomorphise machines, but in a very, very particular and peculiar way. And it's the way that these artists um, use the material that becomes very, very important. So, um, I'd like to congratulate the three artists um, in providing the works for this exhibition. Um, and also, uh, just finish up uh, by a statement uh, from Woody Allen. Um, I was going to start with a statement that Woody Allen uh, thought that the, um, uh, his brain was his second most favourite organ. We can sort of guess at what his most favourite <laughs> organ was. Um, but more appropriately, I'll finish with, um, with a statement of his that really shows the power of art in a kind of, uh, in a kind of parrot. Par par Deep way. I can't listen to that much uh, of Wagner because if I do, I start to get the urge to invade Poland. <laughs> Thanks very much.